Welcome back, folks. It is 510 on this wonderful Monday evening. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. As we take a look outside right now at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, clear skies, beautiful skies, and that's going to continue with us into later this evening. Lots and lots of bright moonlight will be seen through the evening hours, and even as we wake up tomorrow, we're expecting lots of sunshine that will shift as we get into those later work weekdays as some unsettled weather moves on in, though. In terms of those weather headlines, we're looking at cold temperatures temperatures continuing. So right now we're a few degrees below those seasonal averages and that will continue with us as we jump into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. By the end of the work week, we will even be 10 to 15 degrees below those averages. So we're staying colder than what we're typically used to. Again, that sunshine will continue with us, but only until the middle of the work week. We do have some southwesterly unsettled weather that's going to start moving on in, giving well the upper atmosphere a little bit of a shakeup. So as we take a closer look at how that's going to start moving on in, we do have some high pressure over the western slope right now, but we'll notice cloud coverage moving in as soon as Wednesday morning and through that four corners region. We've got single cell storms forming to kind of move on in specifically kind of over the southern areas, but through Salt Lake City and the Great Basin area, some more moisture moving on in to give us snow right here in the valleys by well, essentially Tuesday or excuse me, Thursday, those AM hours and a little bit closer of our future cast waking up tomorrow. Still clear skies, but fast forward. Uh, late Tuesday night cloud coverage rolling on in and that'll continue with us into Wednesday and by the time we get into Wednesday evening that's when a little bit of those scattered showers will enter the region and I do want to chat about our total snow coverage from those storms from the holiday weekend over that I-70 corridor through Steamboat Springs Aspen Telluride we're in that pink zone means double digits can be seen on all of those mountaintops above 8,000 9,000 feet so please drive safe on those roads and in Montrose, as we take a look at that live tower cam right now, we can see all of that fresh powder hanging out on the ground. And I also want to shout out currently we're on that cool down looking at 30 in Grand Junction. So sub freezing ranges are going to be seen throughout the rest of this week. The majority of the time 33 in Montrose 20s as we look further east. And like I mentioned, wind speeds are pretty mild right now. But in terms of uh, how cool we are compared to those seasonal averages, 37 instead of that typical 46 that low end of things 12 instead of 23 so we're shy of those averages by a pretty hefty amount and tonight 14 in Grand Junction 10 in Moab 12 in Montrose negative 10 as we look towards Gunnison and single digits towards Carbondale and Aspen tomorrow same kind of trend we're only peaking at 40 degrees and basically uh, parachute Grand Junction and Delta upper 30s in Montrose same in Aspen and Gunnison as well and I did mention that extended forecast and what we're looking towards towards the end of the work week Discovery Auto Group seven day will show we're staying around pretty much those same kind of temperatures but those evening temperatures will continue to stay cold in those teens and 20s snow showers entering the area through Thursday and Friday and as those models start to roll on in giving us a little bit of a closer look in terms of how much accumulation we might get we'll keep you updated throughout the week as we get closer and closer to Thursday and Friday but look forward to sunshine for at least a couple of days before the beginning of December and the beginning of some more winter weather.